I didn't want to be an Indian. I didn't know who the hell I wanted to be. I wasn't accepted by the white man. I wasn't accepted by my own people in my reserve. I don't know what I'd have been like if I would not have gone through that system. I know I would have had some kind of an education. I got no education at all. I can't read or write. And the places I was, they didn't care. The year 1958, uh, whether I um, knew anything about it at the time or not, was the beginning of the end of my own culture and my own language and of my own Inuit spirituality. They called us savages. For more than a century, Indigenous children across Canada were forced to attend residential schools. More than 150,000 First Nations, Métis and Inuit children were institutionalized. Thousands died either at residential school or because of their experiences in the system. I used to listen to little girls crying next, next to the wall, hear them little girls crying for their moms. For a whole month, when they first get there, it's all you hear is crying. I'm Shanine Robinson DeJarlis, host of Residential Schools, a new three-part podcast series from Historica Canada. Join us as we delve into the history of residential schools, their effects on survivors, and their continued impact. It's time for Canadians to stand up. This is their challenge as well. Subscribe to Residential Schools on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.